Hugs and welcome today, welcome to another Minecraft Mind tutorial. So today's tutorial is super simple. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding CJ Core, my API, to our uh, modding environment. Now, currently this isn't quite how I want it. Uh, I want to, in the future, use Maven for this. But at the moment, uh, I don't have a web server or anything like that. Um, so... Here we are over on CurseForge. There is a download to this mod in the description. There was also a review which came out um, the day I'm recording this. So this review will go over everything you can do with it. This is just how you set it up. Uh, I will be going over everything again individually, showing you how to do this, which is really cool. So we're going to head over to files. Now, currently, you cannot get the latest files because these are only updated seven minutes ago. And they are under review. Um, fortunately, by the time this comes out, these will be approved. Um, it's just a bug fix and a quick update. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be downloading the 1.11 version of this. Which is this one here. And uh, so what we want to do is click download here. And we're just going to choose where we're going to put it. So I'm going to head over to the bit of everything. I'm... I've already made a new folder called libs and I'm going to save it here. So that's where our mod is actually going to be. Now what we want to do is we want to head over to the Java doc and source. Because I don't have a web server, I can't simply just uh, do this in one line in the build at Gradle. I have to do it like this. I'm going to click download. Let's copy and paste these. Let's put it inside the libs folder. Uh, and I'm just going to delete that download like so and that is the mod downloaded so if we head over to our eclipse i'm just going to right click on this we're going to go to uh, build path uh, configure build path and down in libraries we want to add external jars and it's already here we want to add this jar here you want to go to source attachment it's in the workspace so it's workspace libs and then it's the sources, okay, and also the Java doc is in archive workspace file, and that's also in libs, and that's Java doc, like so. So if I apply this, should be able to see that under here, somewhere here we should have CJ core. Um, it's normally around about near the bottom. I'm trying to find it. We have all of our files here. We can obviously view the assets, the language file, obviously, uh, but we can't. Uh, if we can even head over to the main CJ core, uh, let's go check whether this is installed. So I'm just going to run the mod, and we should be able to see in the console that it is installed. So, and we can see that CJ core is here. We've got the Forge NG and CUFH support which is available so we know it's all working okay so again like, oh, we can clearly see that on mods we have cj core here um that hasn't updated for some reason that is something i will have to do i did not realize that was a thing um yeah i better update that um so we can easily go into the world and like i mentioned when there's an easy version i'll do it um yeah I need to update that. That's a bug. Okay, uh, so I'm going to update that as soon as I can. Uh, you can see that the multimeter is here. It won't work because there's no blocks here that actually require the, uh, well, have energy. So, yeah, but we can see it's working. So, I'll fix that bug for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I am out.